Welcome to our channel. Today we bring you the latest and greatest news from the final frontier. In this episode, we'll cover a variety of fascinating topics. From mind-blowing discoveries and cutting-edge technology to breathtaking missions and cosmic wonders, we will discuss some of the most recent developments in space such as space cleaner clear spaces, solar power from space, blue origin contract with NASA, Psyche asteroid mission, the 30-day mission to Mars and much more. ClearSpace has announced the signing of a contract with Aragum Space, a French space company, to undertake the inaugural ClearSpace 1 mission for space debris removal. This collaboration marks a significant milestone in the field of space technology and highlights the growing concern over the issue of space debris. The ClearSpace 1 mission aims to address this problem by developing innovative methods to remove and safely dispose of defunct satellites and other space debris from Earth's orbit. The joint effort between ClearSpace and Aragum Space holds great promise in advancing the development of sustainable space activities and ensuring the long-term viability of space exploration. ClearSpace 1 will be the first space mission to remove an item of debris from orbit planned for launch in 2025. The mission is being procured as a service contract with a startup-led commercial consortium to help establish a new market for in-orbit servicing as well as debris removal. The mission will target the Vespa Vega secondary payload adapter left by Arianespace's second Vega mission in 2013. The purpose of the mission is to demonstrate the capability of the Clear Space 1 space cleaner with four robotic arms, thus paving the way for more complex missions by capturing several pieces of space debris in one launch. The mission intends to move the Vespa closer to the Earth's atmosphere where it will burn up. ECA selected Clear Space from more than a dozen candidates for completing an object removal mission in orbit in 2019, and in 2019, a contract was signed with Clear Space to perform this service at a cost of $86 million. As part of the Clear Space 1 mission, they will have to capture the up part in the spa, weighing not much more than 100 kilograms left in orbit during the flight of the Vega launch vehicle in 2013 and, together with it, depart orbit and burn in the Earth's upper atmosphere. Space-based solar power SBSP, is the concept of collecting solar power in outer space with solar power satellites SPS, and distributing it to Earth. The idea is to construct enormous orbital arrays of solar panels, then beam the power to Earth via microwaves. Space is an ideal place for a solar panel. With the right orbit, the sun is always shining. Plus, without an atmosphere absorbing and scattering the solar radiation, the sunlight is brighter and the photovoltaic cells gather more energy. In theory, SBSP can provide non-intermittent clean energy energy at a scale similar to nuclear power. The two main challenges are getting the solar panels into space, then getting the energy down here. These challenges are partly economic. One reason that SPSB is back on the agenda is the plummeting cost per kilogram of launching payloads into space. Thanks to reusable rockets, this figure has fallen nearly 20-fold in two decades, while solar panels have become lighter. The UK, US and Chinese governments are funding research, while the European Space Agency, ESA, has approved a three-year study named Solaris. ESA recently called for ideas that would answer the question, how do you convert a large amount of solar energy into a useful form and beam it down to Earth or another planetary surface as efficiently as possible? Of 85 ideas received, 13 were selected for funding. California Institute of Technology specialists were the first in the world to send solar energy from space to Earth without wires. The experiment was carried out as part of the Space Solar Power Project using a microwave transmitter, the prototype of which was installed on board the SSPD-1 experiment experimental orbital installation launched last January. The prototype SSPD-1 installed on a space tug Momentus Space Company consists of two solar panels inside the case. There is an array of MEPL transmitters that sends this energy about 30 centimeters from one wall to another. Using amplifying and damping interference, two MEPL receivers collect solar energy and convert it into a direct current that feeds the two LEDs of the device. To check the performance and accuracy of the device, the scientists alternately lit one or the other diode. In addition to demonstrating and the possibility ability of transmitting energy in open space through a special window in the case. It sent microwave radiation outside the devices, in this case to the ground. The investigators are convinced that wireless transmission cosmic energy will open access to clean electricity for those who live in hard-to-reach regions and poor countries, as well as to urgently provide electricity to victims of accidents or natural disasters. 
Blue Origin has been awarded a contract by NASA as part of the agency's Artemis program to develop moon lander designs. The contract is worth $25.6 million and the project will take place over the next 15 months. Blue Origin has also been awarded a contract by NASA to provide launch service for the agency's escapade mission as part of the agency's VADR launch services contract. The launch is targeted for late 2024 and is part of an effort by NASA to encourage competition in the private spaceflight sector. In addition, a team led by Jeff Bezos Blue Origin won a coveted $3.4 billion NASA contract to build a spacecraft to fly astronauts to and from the moon's surface. Blue Origin plans to build its 52-foot, 16-meter tall Blue Moon Lander in partnership with Lockheed Martin Corp, Boeing Co., software firm Draper and robotics firm Astrobotic. NASA picked Blue Origin over a rival bid led by Lido's Inc. owned defense contractor Dynetics that also included Northrop Grumman Corp. One significant contract awarded to Blue Origin by NASA is the Artemis Human Landing System HLS contract. The Artemis program seeks to return humans to the moon and Blue Origin's HLS was one of the three lunar lander proposals selected by NASA for further development. The goal of this contract is to design, develop, and demonstrate a crewed lunar lander system that can transport astronauts to and from the lunar surface. The U.S. Space Agency NASA, has finally received the green light to launch the long-delayed mission to the asteroid Psyche. Psyche is situated in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and is known for its abundance of metals, making up 1% of all objects in the belt. The estimated value of the minerals on Psyche, if extracted and sold at current prices, is a staggering $10 quadrillion. However, it is important to note that this is purely a hypothetical scenario and there are no plans to distribute the asteroid's wealth among the Earth's inhabitants. If such a distribution were to occur, each person would receive a check amounting to $125,000. Nevertheless, the primary objective of the mission is to study Psyche and unravel its composition, density, internal structure, and other unique features. Originally scheduled for August 2022, the launch of the probe was postponed by NASA to ensure completion of all necessary tests before the launch window closed. Now, with the main obstacles out of the way, the mission is set to depart in October. The journey itself will last five years in 10 months, with approximately 26 months dedicated to the comprehensive study of the asteroid Psyche. The Psyche mission represents a significant milestone in space exploration as it will be the first ever endeavor to explore a world primarily composed of metal. By studying Psyche, scientists hope to gain insights into the origins of planetary cores and shed light on the tumultuous events that shaped our solar system during its early formation stages. British nuclear fusion company Pulsar Fusion, based in Oxfordshire, has joined forces with Princeton Satellite Systems, a leading American company, to revolutionize space travel by designing a hyperfast space rocket using cutting-edge AI technology. This ambitious project aims to develop a rocket capable of reaching Saturn's moons in just two years. The anticipated speed of this engine is around 500,000 miles per hour, reducing the travel time to Mars to roughly 30 days. This exciting collaboration combines British expertise with the advanced technological capabilities of Princeton Satellite Systems. The integration of AI into the rocket's design and operation will likely play a crucial role in achieving the ambitious objective of a 30-day journey to Mars. Fusion power, known for its potential to provide abundant and clean energy, is being explored as a key component of this innovative rocket. Fusion involves the merging of atomic nuclei, releasing tremendous amounts of energy. If successfully implemented in a space propulsion system, fusion power could revolutionize interplanetary travel by enabling much faster and more efficient spacecraft. The utilization of AI in this context opens up exciting possibilities. AI algorithms can optimize various aspects of the spacecraft's performance, including trajectory planning, fuel consumption, and overall operational efficiency. By continuously learning and adapting, the AI systems on board the rocket can make real-time adjustments to enhance propulsion, navigation, and other critical functions, thus maximizing the chances of a successful and swift journey to Mars. This collaboration represents a significant step forward in space exploration and the ongoing efforts to make interplanetary travel more accessible and efficient. While there are undoubtedly numerous technical challenges to overcome, the joint efforts of the British and American companies, along with the integration of AI and fusion technology, hold great promise for the future of space travel and our endeavors.